Welcome to Scratch. This is your introduction to coding with Scratch. Now there's a few questions that we want to answer today in regards to Scratch programming. Scratch is a coding software that we use to learn how to code. In this video, we're going to walk through the basic elements of Scratch and your Scratch dashboard as you see here on the screen. For the purposes of our basic coding, we are going to work with sprites. This picture of a cat is known as a sprite. Sprites are characters or pictures. These are the objects that we are going to use to code and move around the screen to follow the instructions of our code. To change our sprite, we click this button here and we can choose many different kinds of sprites. For our purposes today, we will stick with Scratch the Cat. Now in order to make Scratch the Cat move, we need to use our code blocks. Code blocks are what you see on the left-hand side of your screen. They are blocks that we drag onto our board and it will tell our sprite where to move. There are lots of different types of code blocks that we can use. We have code blocks for motion, for looks and things that they can say, to make sounds. We control when the event happens. We can put code blocks to allow our sprite to sense objects in the environment. We can use operations where we can add a little bit of math. We can add some variables we can also design our own blocks. The middle section is where we're going to drag our code blocks to. This is called our scratch pad. The scratch pad is where we will build our code. Code is like a set of instructions that tells our sprite what to do. Where you see scratch the cat is called our preview pane. This is where we will see scratch the cat move based on the code blocks that we put here. Once we hit go, Scratch will follow our code and we can preview that movement here in the preview pane. The green flag you see here is like a go button. This tells Scratch to start implementing the code that you put on your Scratch pad. The stop means you're going to stop the code. Perhaps you put code and it doesn't work the way you want. Instead of finishing the code, you may want to stop Scratch early and reset him so that you can fix your code in your scratch pad and try again and watch scratch move in your preview pane. Now, sometimes we might want to change what scratch looks like or change any of our sprites and what they look like. We can change them through their costumes. We can make, we can make scratch look like he's watching, walking. Although at Halloween we wear costumes, a sprite can wear a costume, but a costume is another way of saying different body positions. Sometimes we want two different body positions and when we use them back and forth, we can make our sprite appear as though he is walking. So we can change different body positions. If you want your sprite to be walking, you would need two different costumes. You can also choose other costumes Look at Casey. Casey has their arms out and their arms up, their arms down and their arm, one arm up and one arm down. Here's Sprite here. Sprite the cat can go flying, it can fly up like Superman, and it can have these two walking motions. There are some pre-built costumes that you can use that help your Sprite look more realistic when they are moving. The final element is to pay attention to your stage. Think of your stage as like performing on an actual stage to do a play. The stage is like your background. Currently, the background in our preview pane is just a blank stage. So we can change our backdrop by clicking this button here and we can choose one of the pre-made backdrops. So if I would like Scratch to be walking along a sidewalk, next to a bush and a blue sky, I might choose this backdrop. 
Right now, Scratch is currently floating. So I want to move him down by dragging him down so it looks like he is standing right there on the sidewalk. On the stage, you can either upload your own picture, make a random picture, paint your own picture, or choose a backdrop from the pre-selected ones provided to you from Scratch. Now that you have a good understanding of how Scratch starts and all of the different elements here on your screen, it's time for you to go on to the next lesson.